In this video we are adjusting our injector height and jake brake clearance on a C12 engine. If you haven't seen part 1 I recommend watching that first. The video is located in the playlist on this YouTube channel. If you're doing a tune up on an engine with these type of injectors there's no way to check the height of your injector without adjusting it. You just have to go through and adjust them as part of the tune up. So crack the adjuster nut on top of the rocker arm. They're pretty tight, I use an impact gun gently to crack mine. Now this engine is at top center position for number one cylinder and in this position we can adjust injectors three, five and six. Then we'll bar the engine over and adjust one, two and four. So what you want to do is put your screwdriver on the adjuster screw and wind it counterclockwise until you feel it go loose and then wind it clockwise until you feel it start to take up and then two full turns down clockwise. Once you've done that wind it back until it goes free again and then bring the screw back till it touches and then from where it touches you want to go 180 degrees so half a turn. Once you've done your turn then you just tighten up the lock nut and just make sure that the screw doesn't move Tighten it up fairly tight because um, you don't want it to move when you torque it with a torque wrench. Let's do a recap on this. So you crack the lock nut, wind the screw back until it goes loose, then wind it until you feel it touch the injector, then wind it down two turns, then back it off until it's loose again, then take it back up until it touches the injector, then turn, then a half turn exactly. Lock it off and watch that the screw doesn't move. Now that's done, tighten the lock nut to 45 foot pounds. Take note of the screw position and just make sure when you take your torque wrench off that it hasn't moved. And then give it a big fat torque strike with a painted pen. And that's the procedure for each injector. You do injectors 3, 5 and 6 on TDC. You know you're on TDC 1 because the number 1 cylinder inlet and exhaust rocker arm are loose. And then you bar the engine over and on TD6 you do injector rocker arm 1, 2 and 4. And you know you're on TD6 because both rocker arms will be loose on cylinder 6. And that's all you've got to do to adjust the injector height on these injectors. Um, even if you don't get that 180 degrees right, it's not the end of the world. It'll just run a bit rough. Obviously, you want to get it right. And um, definitely take the injector down two turns and bring it back before you do the 180 degree. Once the injectors are done, you can go ahead and put the Jake brake assemblies back on. They just slide back onto the studs. Be careful not to crush the wires. The old bolts and studs are still wet with oil so I'm not lubricating them but I would put a bit of oil on them if they were dry. I'm running down the nuts with an impact gun and the same with a bolt. I'm just seat seating them, I'm not actually tightening them up yet. I'm going to do it with a torque wrench. The nuts get done to 65 foot pound and the bolts get done to 45 foot pound. Whenever I'm working inside an engine, I'll always run my torque wrench over the nuts, even if I didn't adjust them or undo them, just to make sure that they're done up and I'll torque stripe everything. The reason for that is, is because I was in there, so if anything goes wrong, I'm going to get the blame. So I'll just make sure everything's right, regardless of whether I touch it or not.
After that we can hook our wire assembly up to each solenoid. They will still be bent in their old positions the wires so they're easy to locate. And then feed the rest of the wire into the clip and press the tab down with your finger and that will lock it in. Last adjustment we have to do is on the jake brake. Now you slide your fuel gauge in between the slave piston which is on the jake brake and the actuating pin which is on the bottom and the engine specs are 45 thou gap for this one. If you don't have a fuel gauge that thick what you can do is just use two fuel gauges to make up the size and it's just like adjusting your valve lash before just bigger and more awkward. Same process, adjust the screw down until you feel a slight drag, then lock off the nut. And make sure you check your gap again after locking the nut off. The torque for these uh, adjustment nuts are 25 foot pound. So there's one slave piston to adjust per cylinder, there's two slave pistons per jake brake assembly, and there's three jake brake assemblies, so there's six adjustments all up. I start on number 4 cylinder because it was convenient to get the camera there. The engine is still on TDC 6 from doing the injector, injectors just before. On TDC 6 we adjust cylinders 2, 4 and 6. And on TDC 1 we adjust 1, 3 and 5. When you put your valve cover on, the way to adjust them to stop them from leaking is to adjust them up in a cross pattern. Um, the manual says to torque these bolts to 12 newtons plus or minus 3 newton meters but I recommend torquing them to the lowest setting of 9 millimeters. These bolts snap easy and also strip the bolt hole if you do them up too tight. And that's your overhead adjustment done. It's not a bad little job as you can see. There's one little note I want to make about working on MUI systems. MUI fuel systems stands for Mechanical Electronic Unit Injector. And um, there's two types of injectors to look out for. So you don't want to just carry this type of procedure over to another engine like a C15 because even though it looks very similar in there, they have a different style injector. So the injector that we've got is a uh, MUI C injector on the C12 or C10 and they're the 180 degree turn types but there is another type of injector that looks similar to someone who hasn't seen them before is a MUI A style and they are a bit different um, there's a little ledge on them and you have to adjust them uh, with a height tool which I will do a video on later and I'll get some photos so you can see the difference and I'll put them in another video I just wanted to bring that to your attention that um, you don't want to just think that every MUI system you can do that adjustment to because that's wrong. Type A injectors have a have a ledge and a height tool to use, um, not like these MUI C. If you liked the video, uh, click and subscribe. I'm going to be putting more videos like this on. Cheers, guys.